So today I'm talking center backs, center halves, and I got a bunch of ideas that I want to get through. I'm going to start with on the ball stuff and then we'll move into more defending principles. But first off, if you're a center half, right now I want you to think about being more of a leader. Okay, You need to be the captain of your team, even if you're not wearing the armband. You need to be a leader on the field. You need to be an organizer, commander of the troops. Why? Because you can see everything. Okay, Everything is in front of you. You can see everything. If you're playing in the midfield here or the strikers, you can't always see everything. You can't give people advice. So as a leader, as a commander, you need to talk more. Give more information. Even if you don't know what to say in the beginning, just start talking more. Open your out mouth more. And want to be more positive than negative. So if you're just yelling at people, it's not going to make them do what you want. If you're giving them constructive criticism or motivating them to do better, that's when you're really going to get them on your side. Okay? And when they do do things well, encourage them, praise them, say, well done, good job, keep going, okay? But talk more, give more descriptive communication and give more encouragement to your team. All right, so when you're on the ball, especially as a center half, it's very important that you're able to play two touch football and you move the ball very quickly. Because a lot of times teams are learning to play, especially in your youth team, I hope you're learning to play more out of the back, okay? Back in the days we would get the ball here and because you're a defender, you have to kick it up the field as far as you can. That's how you play defense, right? Wrong, okay? We need to keep the ball, we need to possess the ball, we need to move the ball. So as a center half, when you get the ball, let's say we're confident enough to play out the back, okay? I wanna see the fullbacks really wide here, but I wanna see our center halves nice and far apart like this, okay? Because we're gonna use the ball to our advantage, okay? The other team is gonna slowly come to close down the ball. You need to whip that ball across and hopefully he's gonna play into here and then we can move up the field, okay? Everyone gets moved, gets sucked in. We can't play a pass into here. They're defending us very well, that's fine. We're gonna play around the back. And again, one, two touch, play out the back. Hopefully we can play into someone in a more dangerous area. They can get turned and play. But when you have the ball at center half, I want you to think about playing the ball quickly, okay? You don't have to do it at blistering pace, but you need to do it with minimal touches. Open up, play that ball across. If you can play into this at, uh, center, center and midfielder, attacking midfielder, defensive midfielder, you wanna play this ball. Why? Because this player is the playmaker. Okay, you need to know your role. You're not the playmaker, so you're not always gonna be able to come and dribble. You shouldn't be dribbling in here and trying to play passes, trying to be creative from the center half position. There will be times when you dribble, we'll talk about that. But when this guy is open, or this attacking midfielder is open in here, you wanna play that ball in there, because they're the playmaker. They're the, your coach put them there for a reason, because they're creative on the ball, they play good passes. Okay, so trust them. If the ball, if someone is on them, that's okay to play it into them as long as you say man on, you let them know, okay? So they can play back right away, or play into here, man on, we go out the other way, and we're attacking right away, okay? But you wanna play into these guys. You wanna get the ball into their feet. Okay, if that's not on, like I said, they're being defended very well, that's fine. We're just gonna move the ball around the back again and again and again until something opens up. Believe me, something will open up because if you move the ball, it forces, like I said, forces the other team to move, okay? So something's gonna open up, okay? But again, try to play into these defensive midfielders as much as you can. Try to play wide. Hopefully the winger and the fullback can combine. Okay, but if something's not on, I encourage you to, and you have the time, and you see the center half or the center forwards making a run or the wingers making a run, don't be afraid to play this ball sometimes, okay? I said in the beginning, I don't want you to just kick the ball up the field as far as you can, but I want you to play accurate passes, dangerous passes. It's okay to play direct from the back if it's on, if it's a high percentage, okay? If the guy has two defenders around him, he's not even making a run, don't just ping it up there. Unless he's a really tall center forward, you're expecting him to win a header for someone else to run onto, okay? But if you can see someone's making a run, they're in open space, maybe the whole team got shifted across, you wanna play that diagonal ball across, I encourage you to do so. And you may have to pay, play some bad passes before you play some good passes, but it's about the learning process, okay? Analyze every pass you made. Why was it bad? Why didn't it work out? What should I try next time? Okay, so think about that when you're on the ball as a center half. Also, there are times when you're gonna be able to dribble into space here, but if you get closed down quickly, okay, don't be afraid to turn and play out quickly, then get back into position, 
Okay, and we'll play out the back again. You need to be very cautious dribbling as a center half because if you lose it here, you're putting your team under a lot of pressure. So if the space is there to dribble into and there's no better pass on, then yes, take it and then try to make a pass when the time comes. But be very cautious when you're dribbling through the midfield as a center half. All right, moving forward, I just wanna talk about simple defending principles. Clear your lines, okay? so. Let's say the ball is played, red is attacking, and they're playing the ball into the box here. We'll bring our fullbacks back a bit. Okay, you win the ball in this position, or the ball is coming to you across the box. Okay, know when to try to be technical and play football. If you have the, the composure and the time, most importantly, you've looked over your shoulder, you know no one's around you, then yes, you can hold your composure in your 18 yard box and play a smart pass out of the back. Okay, but you have to realize when you're getting closed down or it's very dangerous and you just need to clear your lines. You need to kick it up the field. Okay, so be smart as a center half, your first job is defense. And yes, we wanna be technical players, we always wanna be composed, but sometimes being composed is knowing when to get that ball out of there as quickly as possible, okay? Number one, you keep goals out of this net, okay? So even though that I say clear your lines sometimes when it's on, defending comes first, get that ball in that box, I want you to kick it up the field, okay? Protect your team. Still, even when you're kicking that ball out, you're clearing your, clearing your lines, it seems like you're panicked, you're just kicking it wherever, still try to kick it to someone. Still give your team a chance to retain possession. Next, I wanna talk about closing down shots, putting your body on the line, okay? A lot of defenders make the mistake of closing down slowly because they don't wanna get beat. And yes, that is important, but if your team works together, say you come and close down the shot and he gets around you, hopefully your center half, other center half is coming to cover and you guys need to work together like that, okay? But think about closing shots down quicker, okay? Anything that people come in here, especially in youth level, Usually they're not smart enough to play a sneaky pass like that, okay? So they're coming in here, anytime they're in here, they're thinking about shooting. Your job is to block that shot. I want you to slide tackle, I want you to put your body on the line, get hit in the face, in the chest, in the private area, get hit anywhere, block that shot, do whatever it takes. You have to be brave, you have to be willing to put your body on the line. So anytime that it's coming in here, close down quickly, do not give him time to have a shot. As far as I'm concerned, if a striker or a winger or midfielder comes into this area and they get a shot on net, that is your fault as a center half. And the goalkeeper should be very upset with you because you didn't close that down quickly, okay? If you come and close down and he takes a shot and it gets deflected and it goes on net or they score, okay? That's part of it, that happens sometimes, but you have to know that you did your job. You did what was necessary to close down that shot and do your job as a center half, okay? So think about being brave or putting your body on the line, closing down shots and holding yourself to that standard. Like anything that comes in this area, I'm not gonna let them shoot. I'm not gonna allow any easy shots. I'm gonna do my best to block every shot. And you'll find that even if you're contesting shots and you're not actually getting the block in, but just the fact that you're being there, you're getting in front of them, that's gonna put them off target more times than not. Okay, next I wanna talk about winning headers. So let's say the other team is playing a goal kick or a ball from the back. Okay, as a center half, and you see good center halves do this all the time, this ball into here, you should be winning that, you should be winning that header, coming over the top and winning that ball, hopefully hitting it down to one of your teammates, you should be winning that nine out of 10 times, okay? Because a lot of times, this striker is smaller than you, you're a bigger, stronger center half, but even if you're not, I want you to have that mentality. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? First of all, you need to be close to him. You know the ball's coming there, so don't give him that much space, okay? Get close to him. When the ball's played in, what I recommend is that you take one or two steps backwards, so then you can move forwards, okay? If you're jumping from a standstill, it's very hard to get height and to get your momentum moving forward to come over the player, okay? So take a few steps back as the ball's coming, and then take a few steps towards the ball to attack it. Okay, and then you're gonna win that header. And like I said, if you can, head it to one of your teammates. Don't just head it up the field. But number one, you win that header. If you don't win that header, you're at least right on his back, forcing him to play backwards. And hopefully we'll have a defensive midfielder doubling up to win the ball, or he's gonna have a heavy touch and give away possession. Okay, on that note, 
as this center half is challenging for the ball, where should this center half be? Okay, he should be thinking about covering. So if he does win a flick, okay, I'm gonna cover and then we'll switch into like that. One center half should be pressing the ball. This is when they're on the ball as well. One center half should be pressing. The other one should be covering, okay? So wherever this goes, if it go, he goes past there, you're gonna come across to cover and he's gonna come in there. Or if the ball, you're going there, if the ball gets played across here, you're gonna come and now you're gonna cover this space like that, okay? So think about pressing and covering together. But when you're winning those headers, remember, a couple steps back and then you come through the ball. A couple steps forward, move towards the ball. So go back to go forward in that instance. Um, so putting your body, yeah, really anticipating play is a big thing as a center half, okay? So I talk about this in a lot of my videos, one of the biggest defending principles, especially as a center half, okay? When this striker gets the ball, you wanna be there. You wanna be right on top of him as soon as he gets it, okay? You're either winning that ball before it even comes in, or you're really pressuring him to make a mistake or to play the ball backwards, okay? If he plays the ball backwards, then you've done your job. But don't give him time to turn. If he gets the ball and he turns in here, you're not doing your job, okay? One of you has to communicate and you have to be tighter to the ball. You wanna be on his back as he receives the ball, okay? If he tries to turn, you should be quick enough on your feet to stay with him. And again, you'll have your other center half partner covering, other fullback coming in to help out, okay? But when that ball is played in, you're anticipating the play. You're not just looking at the ball and then the ball gets there and then I react. Okay? As the ball gets there, you you're on there because you already know. You know he wants to play the pass into here. So I'm already there okay, as he receives it. And a lot of the time, if you are reading the play well and this guy isn't moving to the ball, you can come in front of him and win possession of that ball. Okay, But think about anticipating the play. Where is the pass going to go? Okay, I know he's going to play the ball over the top here. So I'm not just going to watch and let this guy get on the ball and then react. Okay, I'm reading this guy. I'm trying to play one, two passes ahead of the game. Okay, I know this guy's running, so I'm either gonna pass him off to this center half, or I'm gonna stay with that run, and I'm gonna get there first, and then we're gonna play out of the back. Okay, so there's a lot of 